Customs and Border Protection has been deployed to the Super Bowl to screen all the containers or on all the truck traffic coming into the Super Bowl facility. Uh, we're out here to keep the American public safe at these large, uh, large national events. Well, we're screening for radiation with our mobile radiation detection devices, and we're also scanning the containers with our large-scale imaging equipment. Now we're getting images of the con containers and trucks coming into the facility. It just basically lets us see what's inside without opening up the truck. We're screening pretty much any vehicle that's coming in that's going to enter the Super Bowl security perimeter. So if it's, even if it's a small vehicle, large vehicle, we're screening it. We're going to be out here the Monday before the Super Bowl and continue right till Super Bowl morning. Uh, we're out here for eight hours each day, and we're seeing about 200, 250 trucks per day. The equipment we have out here at the Super Bowl is the same equipment we use on a daily basis at America's seaports to keep the U.S. safe. Now we've just deployed it out here to this large event to keep the American public safe at, at the Super Bowl. With CBP working at these large events, it gives us a great opportunity to work with our, our state and local partners. It really helps us uh, define ourselves as a local, as a law enforcement agency in the Bay Area. Yeah, th this is a great opportunity for CBP to come out, work with our partners, work with every, uh, all the other law enforcement agencies around the Bay Area. It also gives us an opportunity to keep the American public safe. We've been at uh, multiple Super Bowl venues uh, in the past. We've been uh, locally, we've uh, worked the PGA tournaments that have been here, the U.S. Open. We've also been associated in, with security screening at the, uh, at the multiple World Series that have been here in the Bay Area.